Hi guys, today I have a product test for you because KNF Concept were kind enough to provide me the Nano Filter Kit for testing. So let's unpack this package and have a look. Let's start with a quick unboxing and after you have put all the packaging material away, you will have a small filter bag and inside of this filter bag, you will have all the filters in small plastic bags. And first we have the adapter ring and then we have the ultraviolet filter and then we will have the polarization filter and in the last we will have the ND1000 filter and this is all you will find in the package. The bag is good looking. I really love the contrast stitching here all around and also the applications here with the contrast stitching in front and back and also the fake leather with the embossed logo. I think the optic is very cool. Also the color interested. I really love the optic of the bag. And the first thing I noticed is the waterproofed zip here all around. And also the material is waterproofed. The inside here is waterproofed material and the outside. And I think this is a cool idea because when you're outside with the bag with your filters and you will get in a heavy rain, you don't have to be worried that your filters will get wet. They will stay dry inside. And this is a cool idea for this bag. And when you open the bag, you will have a magnetic closure here and you don't have a pressure or a Velcro closure here because I don't like the pressure closures because if you press too heavy here, I'm always afraid that I will damage my filters inside and the Velcro closure will get very easily dirty and also I don't like it. And in the back you will have an attachment for the belt here with velcro closure it's okay on the back side because you don't use it so often or i don't use it so often and on top you have here a metal ring for a carabiner so you can place it everywhere safe and if you look inside we have four compartments here four boxes for the filters and filter ring for the starter set i wish we had two uh, compartments two boxes more for additionally filters because if you buy the starter kit I think in the future you will buy additionally filters for your set maybe an 8 and D filter or 32 and D filter or some other filters and then you don't have space here inside or you have to place two filters in one compartment and yeah I really don't like it but yeah it's it's okay but I think for the future, maybe KNF should put some two more um, compartments inside of this box here. But incomplete, I really love this bag here because if I compare it with my Hyda filter bag here, the optic first is very different. This one looks very cheap and this one looks very rich. I really prefer this optic. And also if I open it, here I don't have a waterproofed zip around and the material is very cheap and yeah, the optic is not very cool. And yeah, I like that I have here more space for filters, but yeah, the optic is not very nice here and not cool and it's not waterproofed. So I think KNF did a very great job with this bag. So let's check out the filters. But now we came to the core of the set, the filter and the adapter rings. I got it in size 62 millimeters for my zoom lens here, the pro lens from Olympus, the 12 to 40 millimeter lens. And only in this combination I can do my testing. So my opinion is only for this combination here. If you have another lens and also if you have another filter size, there can be some variations. The adapter ring is nice and narrow, very light, and it's also very sturdy. And it's very easy to screw it here on my lens without any wedging it. And there's no gap between my adapter ring and my lens here. And now I can put 
my filters on the lens as I like. For example, the polarization filter here, it's changed with under second. It's a very cool system. I really love it because you're very fast with it. However, you have to pay attention to the sequence, to the optimum hold, because the filters are constructed differently. The adapter ring, the ultraviolet filter and the polarization filter have a higher border here around and this saves the following filters from moving around. In the contrast here, the ND filter has only a less border around. When I place now the ND filter on the top of the polarization filter, it sits firmly on it. Of course, there's always a little play, but it's okay. But when I do it on the other side here, when I place the polarization filter on the top of the ND filter, it slips around. Okay, it's still safe here because of the magnetic force, but you have a lot of play here to move around the polarization filter. There's probably a reason for this because everybody knows if you place a lot of filters one after the other on your lens, later on you will see a vignette in your pictures because the border here of the filter will be visible in your pictures. And I think KNF was thinking, okay, let's reduce or minimize this effect and let's reduce the width of the filter to a minimum we can do. Because the ND filter you will place always at the last one in your sequence here, because um, you can remove it very easily and focus with your camera and then you can put it on again. And I think if you don't have a special program in your camera, you have to remove the ND filter to focus correctly. And yeah, I think this is the reason why they did this. Let's check out the ultraviolet filter here. And for me, it's only a protection filter because nowadays the good cameras don't have problems with ultraviolet rays. Older cameras had the problem and for these cameras, the filter was built. But today, I think 99% of all photographers use it only for protection of the expensive lenses, as I do, because it's cheaper if you here have a scratch inside to buy a new ultraviolet filter than a new lens, because lenses are very expensive. And I think it's very cool that KNF have milled a lens thread on the back here, because now I can attach it directly here on my lens and I don't need the adapter ring here. So now I think you are thinking, okay, let's throw it away. We don't need it. This is not complete correct because it depends which lens you use. Because if you have a lot of filters in the front of your lens, as I already explained, you will get a small vignette in your pictures. And to avoid or minimize this, it's very cool to reduce the high of your filters. And the adapter ring is a bit smaller than the ultraviolet filter. I think it's half of it. And though you can reduce, I think, one or two millimeters in the high of your filter tower, and this is a good thing. So you have to decide if you use the adapter ring or if you use the ultraviolet filter. In combination, I think it's useless to use both here on your camera because yeah, I think you have to decide which one you will use. I will use here the ultraviolet filter directly on my lens to have a protection for my lens. And later on, I can put here the other filters on top of it. So I don't need it with my lens because I don't have a vignette effect here later on in my pictures. Let's check out the CPL filter, the polarization filter. If you don't know for what you need, this special filter is very quick explained. Um, this filter is needed to reduce, for example, reflections in the water, in glass, or in every shiny surface. And also with digital screens, you can make the screen darker till black and also can make it more contrasty. I think it's very cool. And this filter is also high quality made of the other items here in the set. I think it's also cool. And 
With this filter here, you don't have a milled thread on the back for attaching to the lens because you have to rotate to get the effect on the position you like. And this is a CPL filter. And the last filter is the ND filter. Now, if you don't know for what you need the ND filter, with ND filter you can make long exposures, for example, by day. And this is a thousand ND filter, a very dark ND filter, and I'm a bit surprised they put it in a starter kit for the filters, a thousand ND filter, because I think with a 32 or 64 ND filter, you are a bit more flexible, but also with this filter, you can make also very cool stuff. You need only a tripod and then you can make also an infinity exposure. Though this is not a problem, but I think with a lighter ND filters, you are a bit more flexible and also I didn't find any purple tint in this ND filter because in cheaper ND filters you will always have a purple tint and this is not so cool but with this filter here this is all very cool made here with no color changing in the picture and this filter is a bit smaller than the other filters as I already explained and you don't have here the attachment for the lens and yeah, this is a very cool ND filter. In general, KNF wrote on the page that they made the filters out of high quality glass with a 28 coating. This means in the end the filters are very strong build and very robust and also liquid repellent. And I like to make a test with liquid with normal tape water. If I threw it on the surface of the filter, if all the drops were thrown away and that I can clean it very easily without any touches or water stripes later on it. But with the strongness, I don't like to make a test because here in this icon on the package is shown a knife that you can scratch around with a knife on the surface of the filter. But I don't like to do it because this is only glass and I think if I do it, I will get some scratches and this is me a bit too hot. But I think KNF like only to show with this icon, the filters are very strong built and with the normal use of the filters, you don't get any scratches inside. And I think it should be also clear if you take a very sharp stone and scratch it and hammering on the filter, you will damage it, but I think you don't do it. So let's go ahead. Let's talk about the internet shop and the price. And in the internet shop, you will find two starter kits. The one I've shown you in this video and another one only with ND filters. And I think the one with ND filters is a bit better because you are more flexible if you like to take long exposure photography. Because there you'll find an ND8 filter, a gradient ND8 filter, and a 64 ND8 filter, and a 1000 ND8 filter. And with all this ND filters, you are more flexible because you can combine it and yeah, I think it's much cooler, but this set is also a bit more expensive because you have more filters. But what is also cool, you can buy every filter separately in the shop. So you, you can buy also the polarization filter if you need it, or the ultraviolet filter if you need it, you can buy it separately. But I think the ND filter set is a better set if you like to take long exposure. And the set I have shown you in this video, you have to pay around 140 euros. It depends on the size of the filters. But at the New Year times, they had a special price with 96 euros. So maybe you have to check out different seasons, for example, Black Friday to get a special promotion price. And otherwise, if you like to have it now, I have a special rebut discount below this video for 5% on all the items in the shop. And I think if you really like to buy a set of round filters, buy it only for the biggest size of your lens. This is a quick tip because there you can save a lot of money. Because if you have to buy it for different sizes of lenses, you have to buy round filters for every lens again and again, and then you spend a lot of money. But you can also buy the biggest size of your biggest lens, the filter size, and then you can buy a very cheap adapter ring that you can use the big filters also on smaller lenses, and this saves a lot, 
a lot of money. So maybe this is an idea for you. Before we go ahead with the creative part of my video, let's talk about my opinion to the magnetic filter set from KNF. And I'm very happy that they wrote me an email if I like to test the filter set because I didn't know that you can buy magnetic filters. And now I have Googled around and a lot of companies have also magnetic filters, but I didn't know it because for me all the round filters are garbage because I really hate it to screw around on my lens and waste a lot of time to add a filter. And with a magnetic filter set you are very fast and this is very cool. And because of these I bought me the plug-in filter set from Haida. And yeah, this set is very big and you have to carry a lot with you and you are also not so fast. And with the magnetic filter set from KNF, you are very fast to change the filters and this is very cool, especially for me, because now I'm a father and when I'm walking around with my family in the forest, I don't have a lot of time to change filters. And with the magnetic filter sets, I'm very fast and this is very cool because now I can take pictures again with filters on it and I really love it. So thank you KNF that you sent me these filters and yeah that I can make pictures with filters again. This is very cool. And also the quality of KNF is very good. The ND filter don't have any purple tint inside. In the past I had a lot of ND filters with purple tint inside and this is very bad because then you have in the post-production a lot of work to do and I hate it. And with the KNF filters you don't have the work anymore and this saves also a lot of time. So the filter is very good. Also the polarization filter works very well and I really love the ultraviolet filters that you can attach it directly to your lens without any um, adapter ring between it. And this is also a very cool idea that you don't have to buy additionally an, uh, protection for your lens, for your expensive lens. And I think also the back looks very well. I think um, it would be better if you have more boxes for filters inside. Maybe they will add in the future one, two boxes more for more filters. Because if you buy a system of filters and you're happy with it, you will also buy additionally filters. Or so I do it. And then you like to have all the filters protected in one bag. And I think this would be very nice if they add one or two more boxes in the bag. And now I'm happy with the filter system of KNF. And thank you for it that I can test it here in my video. And yeah, I think this is really a cool idea to change this with a magnetic system. Also, the magnetic force is very strong. Also on the ND filter side, there you are, have more movement, but the filters will always stay safe. Though this is also good and now you have only to decide which filter system you like to buy. I think the screwed round one, you can throw it in the bin. You have only to decide if you like to have the magnetic round filter or you have to buy the plug-in filter system. So my, in my opinion, if you don't have a lot of time, buy the magnetic round filter system. If you have time, you can buy the plug-in filter system. And if you need more flexibility in the gradient, then you can also buy the plug-in filter system, but if you have to be very fast on the day and you like to change very quick the filters, you have to buy the magnetic filter system. I think this is then the best choice. And now let's go ahead with my creative part. I'm talking here too much, so we will see us in my next video. Ciao! And now comes the photo ideas you have all been waiting for. But first I was thinking, okay, how, what can I do with the ND filter inside and normally I go outside and take my ND filter for a waterfall to get a smooth effect or for the water and also to erase people with a long exposure on a big place here in the city and yeah I was thinking okay let's 
does every photographer and I like to do something at home. Also with the pole filter, I think everybody knows, okay, in the water, it takes a reflection out. Yeah, and at home I was thinking, okay, what can I do? Of course I can take a bottle and also uh, take the reflection out or do something with the water, but I think, yeah, this is too basic, too normal, so let's do something new. And now I will show you three photography inspirations. Let's start with my first picture idea. And this is a double exposure. Normally you do it with Photoshop, but now I will show you how you can do it out of the cam. The setup is also very simple. You need a TV screen or something similar, and then you need a connection to your smartphone, or you have to upload two pictures, which you can show one after the other. And then you have to put your tripod in front of it and the ND filter on your camera. I use the thousand ND filter, and then you have to show one picture for a couple of seconds and then the other one for a couple of seconds and both pictures will merge together and then you will get the double exposure effect without Photoshop. Okay, the quality is not so good as you do it directly in Photoshop with high quality pictures, but I think the optic is also very well. Let's start with my picture in Spur 2, light painting before an image and my materials are quite similar and also my setup is equal and yeah, you need only one image on your TV screen and then before this you can make some light painting with light painting lights and some tools and yeah, that's all. And the last inspo three, the zoom effect at home. The zoom effect is very common in the photography, but you can do it also very easily at home. And the material and setup is quite equal as before. And you need only a zoom lens. And then you need a picture on the screen. You have to focus on it. And then you have to zoom in, zoom out while a long exposure. And then you will get the zoom effect. Very easy and a cool effect. And now you're wondering, okay, what is with the polarization filter? With the polarization filter, you can get the image a bit darker till the screen is complete black. And also you can get more contrast in it. And yeah, it gets also a cool effect doing the three inspos. You can use it. I know this video was a bit different than my others before, but I think it was cool to make a testing. And I think we will see us in my next tutorial. I wish you a good time. And please leave me a thumb up and write a nice comment. And we will see us. Ciao.